Tick Design, Dr. Cuz, your gas analyzer expert. Dr. Cuz, I'm getting these calls. Dr. Cuz, where is my breath oxygen analyzer? I have to wear the mask. I hate it. I can't breathe. I feel bad. I need to know if the oxygen that one is breathing is at the right level within the OSHA recommended limit. And that is anything less than 19.5% of oxygen. OSHA says it's a hazardous environment. So folks, what have we done? We are introducing to you our oxygen analyzer specifically with a specific setup for breath analysis. Now check it out folks. The oxygen analyzer has a built-in pump. Very important, okay? So when you pop in the needle, it sucks air through the needle, through the tubing, through the humidity filter to capture all the water, all the humidity, and then into the analyzer so we don't get any bad results. We have to capture that humidity first, folks. So as I explain further, I'm gonna just pop this on and let's see what happens with these numbers. Folks, so this is our FD600 version with a high resolution oxygen sensor. As you could see, 0.01% resolution. This has a color screen graphing, and most important for these type of R&D type of applications, it has data logging. We have free software that you can download, follow my tutorial, and you could hook up your PC so you could capture the information from this analyzer and manipulate the data any way you like for research purposes. And look folks, the numbers are dropping as we can see, even dropping below the limit from OSHA. And no wonder why people hate wearing these masks, but that is what, well, that's the situation we're in at the moment. So this is the product. Enjoy the unboxing. I hope you like it. Be well and stay safe. Folks, let's get straight to the unboxing. The product comes in a very nice aluminum housing. Just go ahead, unbuckle it, and up, bang. There she is, folks. First, you will see your calibration certificate. Folks, this is an oxygen analyzer for breath, so you will also see a real engineer signature, uh, QAQC verification, our color product manual. It's all here, all inclusive, folks. Now, let's get straight to the analyzer. I'm gonna unpackage this and turn it on because it takes about 60 seconds for it to turn on and warm up. So just go ahead, press that middle button and bang, it turns on straight away. So let's just pop that over there in the background while we go through the accessories, okay? Let's leave it right over there. It's counting down from 60 seconds. Okay, so what comes with the case is your charger, your USB recharge cable. This cable, folks, charges the unit, also connects to your PC USB port right there so that you could do the data logging. So everything is inclusive. Next, we have our needle, stainless steel needle and attachment to barb so you could pop and attach it onto the tubing. So let's leave that there. So this is, so you get two sets. One is a complete set with tubing and the humidity filter, and the other is a spare needle. Again, when you're doing the experiments, you may want to have two different needles for hygiene purposes. Again, make sure you disinfect when you're using it on different people, and just follow general hygiene procedures. And folks, you could also attach this onto some plastic catheter type of tubings or any others, or you may just want to pop it off and test just with the tubing on. It's really up to you how you do it, but we do recommend to ensure the humidity filter is always there when you're doing breath analysis, okay? So one end goes to your attachment, the needle that is, right here, and the other end goes to the analyzer. If you forget which end is which, doesn't really matter, okay? Because it's bi-directional. Okie dokie, so we have our needle attached onto the silicone tubing, onto the filter, and the other end is the end we place it onto the analyzer. Now the analyzer's good to go. When it starts up, you will see 20.9% oxygen. That means it's reading the ambient atmosphere. It's sucking air from the top bulb here, folks. And internally, we have another small particulate filter, but that's um, that's just you know to protect the sensor so no dust particles go, go inside. So what you do is with this little hose, just pop it onto the bulb. It fits very snugly. And there you have it, folks. There you have it. Now, you could test to make sure things uh, sort of um, attach correctly if you if you just put your thing see it loads up the pump okay it loads up the pump so everything seems to be 
pretty hunky-dory as we see down under. Okay, so let's go through the product itself. Here we have a large screen, 20.9% normal reading, percent volume, battery level indicator, our pump indicator, time and date, our functionality of each button. For example, left button goes to various functions, pump or mute, middle button is home, middle button again goes to our main menu. A lot of different menus, folks. Calibration menus, alarm set menus, recording settings, shutdown menus. It's very extensive. Please read the manual. On the rightmost button is we have the curve. See right here, folks? That's the curve. It's live, live graphing. Fantastic option. Some people like that. And that's basically it. So if we go around the meter itself, we could see the little hole down here. That's for the buzzer. On the side over here, we can set the LED alarms also, anti-slip grip. The back, we have our stainless steel belt clip and our product label at the back there, folks. And on top again, we have the barb and right here is where we attach the USB recharge cable and the same cable can be attached onto your computer for data logging. And that's basically it, folks. That is the simple setup, our oxygen analyzer for breath analysis for sports science and other R&D applications. Have a great day and see you soon.